Hi, one hour smart home here, and today we're gonna to talk about smart washers and dryers. Are they worth it? What can they do? And should you get one? So recently, my existing washer and dryer bit the dust. It wouldn't work anymore, and there was a wide variety of problems with it, and I just couldn't get it fixed, and I couldn't get parts. So I had to go look for a new washer and dryer. And when I was looking at washers and dryers, I realized that even the most basic economy model that would fit in a stackable configuration was really only 10 to 20% less expensive than a smart washer and dryer, but a smart washer and dryer had a ton more features. So I started to look at all the features on smart washers and dryers and kind of understand what they could do. And there's a couple key things that I realized smart washers and dryers can do that add a fair amount of value to your washing machine and dryer as a laundry setup. So what are some of the features that smart washers and dryers have? Well, I ultimately settled with an LG smart washer and dryer, but there were a couple things that really drew me to it. So it has a remote on and off. So you can control this from your phone as well as extend cycle times. So let's say you've got something in the dryer that is not getting dry enough. You can just from your phone extend that drying time for another 20 minutes. And you can also look at the status of when that load will be done. And what I've noticed is that having that status indicator of when your laundry will be done allows you to get it out quicker and then fold it so you're gonna have less wrinkly clothes if you are hanging them or folding them. So not only can you turn on and off the cycle from your phone or pause it, let's say if you've got a Zoom call and it's too loud, but you can also extend the cycle and you get push notifications when the cycle on the washer and dryer is done. And all this connects through an app on your phone. So you have the status of your washer and dryer right there. Now, one thing that's interesting that I haven't used a ton of is that you can actually pick different cycles or download different cycles for different type of clothes from the internet in addition to the cycles that are already programmed on your machine. So they can create all kinds of custom recipes. If you have some kind of garment that you want washed a particular way, you can do that, download it from the internet or create your own custom cycle and save that and use that to dry or wash your clothes, which is I think a pretty neat feature. Now this next feature is what sold me on getting a smart washer and smart dryer remote diagnosis and smart diagnosis. So the existing washing machine dryer that I had, I was trying to troubleshoot this thing and it was just a mess of wires to figure out what was going on. And I'm a pretty technical person, but there were so many wires even trying to troubleshoot it with a multimeter just led to a ton of headaches. And when I did diagnose the issue, it turned out that that part was potentially on back order and no longer made, and I was gonna have to wait three months for this thing to get fixed, which just wasn't going to happen. Well, with remote diagnosis, this has a smart chip inside of it that will actually work with your cell phone and you can call the support line and they can automatically diagnose what's going on with your washer and dryer from the trouble codes that populate on the app and or even if you don't have the app, will send a frequency through your phone if you're on the phone with LG support and it will identify the trouble codes or error codes for your smart washer and dryer so you can get the part you need. And I think being able to diagnose and troubleshoot and hone in on exactly what's wrong with your appliance and hopefully there isn't anything that goes wrong with this for a long time, but eliminating those headaches of figuring out what's going on with that remote diagnosis really does make this a good investment because you can potentially extend the life cycle of this washing machine rather than getting a new one if there's a part broken because it's going to potentially tell you what that error is and what part you need to replace rather than spending a lot of money and time on diagnosing the problem. So remote diagnosis, while it seems like a teeny little feature and maybe not a lot of people would use it, in my mind it adds value 
because if it ever does break, it's going to be a shorter time to get it fixed or at least know what is going on so I can order a part rather than wait for somebody to diagnose it and replacing parts that may not even fix the issue. So the remote diagnosis for a smart washer really is a key selling point for me. Another interesting feature of smart washers that some people might really like is that they have energy monitoring. So you can see how much energy your washer and dryer uses, but also they provide recommendations for low energy consumption cycles. And what I've noticed with this smart washer and dryer is that it spins the clothes much drier out of the washer. So there is less energy that gets used in the dryer for the drying phase. Now the energy monitoring will give you a grade for each load and then track your energy consumption over the month and compare it month to month. So if you're interested in that information in ways that you can reduce your energy consumption when doing your laundry, that is a feature that is available on a smart washer that a traditional washer and dryer just wouldn't have. Now, another feature that I haven't really connected yet, but it is available, is that you can also set up auto renew ordering for laundry detergent and or dryer sheets in the app for your devices. So after a certain number of loads, you can automatically have that connected to Amazon Alexa and order you more laundry detergent. So you could say after 60 loads, order me more detergent. So you never run out of laundry detergent and you can do the same thing with dryer sheets, which is also a great feature if you just never wanna think about laundry supplies and have that available. Now the smart washer and dryer combo that I got will also connect to Alexa so that you can check the status of your washer and dryer from Alexa. So let's say you're sitting and watching TV or maybe you're working at your desk and you wanna know how long the washer and dryer load has left, you can ask Alexa that question and it will answer you that. Of course, you could just look on your phone, but it's just another interesting feature with a smart washer and dryer. Now, another thing the smart washer does is track the washer cycles so that it will automatically inform you when you should clean the tub. So when you wash clothes, there's sediment and soot that can build up inside your washing machine. And the smart washer has a cycle indicator that will tell you after a certain amount of time that you should run this without any clothes in it. And it has a steam cycle and a heavy duty cycle that will clear any kind of grit or residue out of the washer so that your clothes are going to stay fresh anytime that you put them in there and use the washer. So that tub clean feature and tub clean tracking is useful to keep your clothes and your washer and dryer in tip top shape. Now, all those features are cool for a smart washer and dryer, but do you really need it to get your clothes any cleaner? And my answer is no, but what I found is that the majority of models that had smart washer and dryer capability also had some of the other features that I wanted in a washer and dryer like steam clean and steam drying. So even that incremental boost of 10 or 20% from that cheapest stackable washer got me some of those premium features that I wanted in the washer and dryer, such as steam cycle and steam clean that weren't available on the most basic stackable washer and dryer. But with the addition of those premium features, I was able to get the smart washer and dryer combination and diagnosis all within that package. And I really do think that that remote diagnosis is a big value add in the long term being able to diagnose issues and really making this more of an investment where you can fix it rather than just throw it away if it breaks at some time in the future, which can save money and prevent this from going to a landfill sooner rather than later. Now, I hope this thing lasts a long time, but overall, I do think a smart washer and dryer is worth it if you're willing to pay that extra 10 or 20% over a standard washer and dryer. Now for a lot of you, if you don't have a stackable configuration, you can probably get a normal washer and dryer much cheaper than any of those stackable configurations, whether it's smart or non-smart. 
But if you have limited space and you have a stackable washer and dryer, what you're gonna find is because that's more of a niche, the prices are higher, even for the most basic washer and dryer, and really going that next 10 to 20% up gets you a ton more features and gets you that smart washer and dryer that really makes it more future compatible and gives you some features that may be standard on most washers and dryers five, 10, or 15 years down the road. So it gives you a longer lifespan and life cycle for the product. So thank you for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, click any of the links below if you wanna support us, and thank you for watching.